What's up guys? This is Nate and Sutton, Paul and Morgan. We are on today doing a collaboration that's gonna blow you away. This is the Paul and Morgan, Morgan the Paul, Paul and Morgan, Morgan show. <laughs> well, this is crazy, guys. We didn't even know we were making this video until like literally yesterday. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We really appreciate this couple right here. And I would say out of all the YouTubers out there that our channel is probably most similar to theirs. I would agree with that. Ever since we first started, people were saying like, Paul and Morgan, you guys need to meet Paul and Morgan. And now they're here. <laughs> it's happening. Yes. <laughs> he is like the buffer version of me. <laughs> Other than that, we're almost the exact same. <laughs> this has been a, a highly requested collaboration, which we're really excited about. And we thought, what better way to get to know Paul and Morgan than by interviewing them? Are y'all scared? Yeah, I'm scared. No. <laughs> we don't know what questions they're gonna ask us. That's true. So we're just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> it seems like there's so many similarities between there our are. relationships there really are. and each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we, we feel like, I mean, truly, I feel like we've known him for a while, that we're good friends already. At least that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told yeah. him last night, I was like, of course, the people that we get along with the best have to live in Kentucky. Like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, this is Only great. seven hours away. <laughs> we, guys, we're loving, we're loving this. I just want you to know this is a lot of fun to be, here, to be here with Nate and Sutton. So we got some questions that we thought hard and long about. First question. Tell us a story about how you're sitting on our couch right now. <laughs> Please. I talked to much. <laughs> how did you get guys get here? We are actually collaborating with someone else who lives in Georgia, and we were like, okay, we know Nate and Sutton live in Georgia, and we want to collaborate with them. Just to be fair, I did text you or ask you at least three times, like, have you contacted Nate and Sutton, and you were like, oh, about to do it, three times. <laughs> Wait, what? Yep, just continue, this. continue. <laughs> and you finally did an hour before. Yeah, this. like an hour before we decided to go to Georgia. Um, yeah, so I sent a message on Instagram to Nate and Sutton, and I said, hey, we're gonna be in Georgia. And she was like, what? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Alright, so next question. What is the most embarrassing thing you wouldn't want your audience to know? Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! I don't know if this is really that embarrassing, but when Paul goes number two... Okay, come on. Okay, <laughs> cut, cut. Are you serious right now? <laughs> he sits on the toilet for like a solid hour to hour and a half. Okay, well, every he man, every man does that. Ever. <laughs> He's probably not even going to the bathroom. He's I say I'm going just as an excuse to, to see, get away from me. Probably. Well, we work together 24/7. <laughs> Needs a break. <laughs> oh, oh, that's it. Okay, okay. Uh, it's not as crude or. Oh my goodness, is hers was of mine. But she does like to walk around barefoot when we take squishy on walks, and lately she's been stubbing her toe a lot. Morgan got you on that one, Paul. <laughs> well, okay, I didn't have a great one. I'm sorry. Do you have any insecurities? What are they, and how do you overcome them? That's a three in one. Yeah. We're trying to get in as oh, many questions yeah, as we can. That's true. Well, fine. Good gracious. <laughs> I want to hear you guys answer these yeah. too. I, I guess if you want to see them interview us. That's gonna be up on their channel. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna get you guys back. All right, I'll give mine. I, uh, since I was a kid, I wanted my hair to look good. And I would go get my hair cut and say like, don't cut it that short. And then they would, would always cut it too short. And then for like two weeks, I wouldn't like my hair. So it would be kind of an insecurity. If I feel like I have a bad haircut, I get, it, it's difficult for me not to get insecure. And, and just like anything else, when I realize it's become too big of a deal in my life, I gotta pray and I gotta say, God, there's nothing I can do about this. Like, humble me, use it to humble me. And a lot of times God will use those type of things to humble us if we submit them to him. But I still like it when my hair looks good. <laughs> it's looking good, it's looking good. Thanks, that was one of the first things I noticed about him last night. Like, even in the pitch dark, he, they got here at night and I was like, man, look at that hair just glowing in the dark. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Morgan, go. Okay, 
Okay, an insecurity of mine. So I grew up like having a lot of insecurities oh. where I was just like very, ang I it like turned into, okay, really? <laughs> <laughs> it turned into like severe anxiety and whatnot because I had so many insecurities. And so like in the past few years, the Lord has really, really helped me let go of basically all of them. But I think that one that I do struggle with, like, ever since getting married, <laughs> I've said this before, I'm just, like, that much more aware of my body because you're married to someone now who's, like, also aware of your body. <laughs> and so that is just, like, something, like, that I have had to work with the, with the Lord. Just, like, Father, help me see myself the way you see me. So, yeah. Like Thanks for getting real with us, guys. Yeah. Hey, we like to get real, you know? <laughs> what is your favorite quality about each other? We're getting a little more positive oh, now. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> Wouldn't make you guys look as bad yeah, as possible first. Yeah, y'all us down. <laughs> <laughs> Humbleness so that we could be exalted. <laughs> biblical, yes, it's all biblical. When I went on my first date with Morgan, it was the best first date that I had been on. And one thing that stood out was how real she was and just... Literally, like I would ask her questions and she would share with such honesty. It's just like she didn't have to put up fronts and uh, feel like she needed to be fake. She was like, I'm gonna be real, and if he likes me, then he likes me. And it was very refreshing. Mm -hmm. And she's still that way. Oh, thanks. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite quality of Paul's is just how serious he takes time with the Lord very seriously and so like every day he makes sure that he is in the word that he takes a prayer walk that he listens to worship like that he just takes a chunk out of his day to spend time with the Lord and like I just think that's amazing and it's rare that's awesome it's something to look up to <laughs> yeah it's really cool it, yeah it is, it is. it's me helped smile. me <laughs> I liked hearing that. <laughs> what was the hardest and best moment of your relationship? This is good. These, because uh, just to give you a disclaimer, we're going to be asking them some deeper relationship questions mm -hmm. over on our video. Mm. Yeah. So just be ready so for that. Get ready. <laughs> for a moment like this, <laughs> when I kissed Man, you for the we first sing time. that song all the time. <laughs> what, is, what is going kiss? on right now? song he knows the words to. It is, literally. <laughs> okay, I actually have a specific day. It was a Valentine's Day. Can we just agree that this is both of ours? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, it's both of ours. Of 2016, Valentine's Day of 2016, a month before Paul proposed to me, we had lunch with Paul's parents, and Paul's parents just FYI, we're all on a great page now, but... They're great, they're great. Yeah, love them, they love me, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but in February of 2016, that wasn't the case, and they sat us down for lunch, and then they told me that they did not see Paul marrying me, and wow. they would prefer if we ended the relationship. Wow. <laughs> and it was very, very hard. My um, parents, especially my mom, just brutally honest. They didn't know Morgan. I hadn't brought Morgan around that much. So they were making some assumptions mm -hmm. that many of them weren't totally true. <laughs> weren't totally true. <laughs> None of them were true, okay, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> many of them were, were not based on reality. It was just what they had seen. And um, so yeah, they, they vocalized their concern in a very real, raw way. And it was tough. It was very hard, but then that same day, so we left that lunch and I was like crying my eyes out because Paul was, the way he kind of processes things is he just stays silent because mm -hmm. he's processing everything through his brain. And so like he won't really talk, he won't speak up. We got into the car, I'm crying, he's just like sitting there just like, and then finally because of just the struggles that he was just going through i think the enemy was attacking him and kind of making him think you know you need to listen to your parents your parents are right mm -hmm. at all times 24 7 365 um and so we ended up calling our pastor now who married us and was a mentor of paul and now mine as well um we called travis up and travis was just like laid down the law it was just like paul you need to 
step it up. You need to be a man. The Lord has revealed to you that Morgan is your wife. You need to honor your father before you honor your mother and father on earth. Like, you gotta honor your God father. And, and, and he was right in that I had sought the Lord and the Lord had revealed to me that his blessing was on Morgan and I getting married. Yeah. So he, um, he kind of challenged me and said, you know, fear, get out of here. It was uh, an amazing moment wow. and it changed everything. Worst and best moment, so. Look at them now. Look at them now. Look at Whoa. Them now. Let me know. <laughs> Y'all even on the same dance moves. <laughs> so one thing I did want to say, Paul and Morgan, these guys have been going through the gauntlet lately on YouTube, and it's amazing to see because I just feel like they're such genuine, like loving people. Their whole purpose of making YouTube videos is to help people. So it's really just like, wow. Like, how are these guys receiving so much hate? And, uh, and I think it really just goes to show that as Christians, a lot of the times, when you, you, know, you put the truth out there, that you're going to be persecuted. And, you know, Jesus was hated, killed, crucified for speaking the truth. So us as believers, we can only expect to see the same thing. And we can't let that overshadow all the amazing supporters they have oh, and, like, how, yeah. how much just awesome impact they've had in the YouTube world. The, the Paul and Morgan fam, really does. They, they love and support us and it's a blessing. Yeah. Yes. And now the Nate and Sutton fam. <laughs> I think I just pulled my groin. Levi, Levi, go back. But anyway, with that said, let's show these guys some love. Yeah. Thank you, Nate. Yeah, you guys for real, I mean, just even being here, I can speak for both Morgan and I, like we feel really encouraged. And whenever we get around other YouTubers yeah. who've loved the Lord and are putting out content um, to glorify the Lord first, it really is like, gives us a, a boost. Mm. What was the first video of ours slash first impression y'all had of us? That's good, that's good. That's a great question. First video I watched of y'all's was like a Q&A that you all did. You guys talked about where you all met on Tinder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so did we. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> what is going yeah. on? Yeah. It's pretty crazy, you guys. I'm like, Literally wow. Insane. I, I mean, insane. Yeah, we, we both met on Tinder <laughs> and people look at us and they're like, you guys met on Tinder? Crazy. And then here's another solid Christian couple. Yeah. We're not, we're not going to endorse no, Tinder. Yeah, not. don't endorse Tinder. We're it. not saying like, go to Tinder everybody, but yeah. hey. It happens. It happens. I just remember, my first impression was, wow, okay, these guys think a lot like how we think. I didn't know people existed <laughs> like that were going to be on YouTube. I didn't know they existed. <laughs> um, so I was very excited and I remember commenting on that video. And then I sent you guys a message on Instagram like immediately and was like, hey guys. <laughs> I know when we got their message, we were like, Paul Morgan just messaged us, we're moving up in life. <laughs> like just took YouTube to the next level. Oh yeah, baby. My in mine, this actually wasn't the first video I watched, but uh, on our way over here, we were watching Let's <laughs> Talk About Christian Dating Boundaries. Hearing Nate and Sutton talk about hugging, there are so many people who are like, you guys are ridiculous, you guys are legalistic purity culture and they're actually saying you know hugging kissing you want to be mindful of that and not take it super lightly mm -hmm. i was like wow we're kind of uh similar mindsets here. yeah i also wondered if you owned like 20 of these blue shirts oh man <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> throwing shade throwing shade no. uh, it's it's just the same shirt <laughs> He started trying to edit the colors of his shirts because he's like, I need more shirts. Like, I don't have enough shirts for this. I know. Last question, guys. If you would want our subscribers to know something about you, what would it be? I'm, I'm prepared with an answer. <laughs> Believe it or not. Nice. I got this one. He's been waiting for this moment. Um, okay, so let me just say, <laughs> just for you all to know, our hearts are always seeking the Father, His way and His will, and He has a plan for our channel. He has a plan for every little video that we make. Like He's working through us, and so just know confident. that. Confident, my goodness. Mm. Yeah, mm. I'm fully confident. Mm. Whether we put out a serious video or a goofy video, like 
the Lord is leading us in what we do and we're constantly seeking him and what he wants and so yeah and even if we did like maybe get something a little bit wrong because I don't think we can say like with 100% yeah. certainty every video every mm -hmm. word we speak is like yeah. God given yeah um, but we are but our hearts truly are like Lord what do you want your ways more than something that we're trying to accomplish with our channel mm -hmm. so we're submitted to the Lord in all areas in all topics and then the other thing is no matter how heavy the topic is how intense we're here to have a good time so we get a little bit quirky because that's who we are and we like to entertain so I think that you guys will be entertained yes, yes you will <laughs> yes it has been awesome not only having you guys on our channel but having you guys stay the night at our house and just spend a couple hours with y'all I feel like um, we're like living in YouTube because we've just watched you guys on the screen and now it, you're like, it, oh, Every yeah. time you see a YouTuber face to face, it's special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. cool. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> All right, guys, that was, that was a lot of fun. And if you guys want to check out Paul and Morgan's channel, which you will, I can tell you that right now, go over to them, <laughs> show them some love. And if you want to see them interview us, they are about to interview us right now. Go over to their channel and check that out. Link below? Yes, okay. link below. Link <laughs> below. <laughs> He's got his hands going. Please, link it below! <laughs> this is Nate and Sutton sowing seeds of truth, love, and inspiration one view at a time. And that was interviewing Paul and Morgan! <laughs> right, we are rolling. We're rolling. All right, Lord bless this. Yes. In Jesus' name, bless it, Father. All right, here we go. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs>